So non-metals. Non-metals could mean gases, solids, or liquids at room temperature. You got all three. But bromine, Br on the periodic table, is the only common liquid. <clears throat> Non-metals are also brittle. What does this mean? It means they are not ductile, nor are they malleable. You might have noticed, this is kind of the opposite situation as what we have in metals. You hit a non-metal, a solid non-metal, like say sulfur, a chunk of sulfur, you hit it with a hammer, what's it gonna do? It's not gonna bend out, it's going to shatter. That's the definition of brittle. Nonmetals are also dull and lackluster. They do not have shine. And on top of that, they are also poor conductors of heat and electricity. Their electrons aren't mobile, okay? You don't have mobile electrons, you're not gonna be able to conduct electricity, you're gonna be a bad conductor of heat, and you're not going to be able to bend. Okay, so that is the definition of the traits of nonmetals. Now we've got a few more properties to talk about. Nonmetals have high ionization energy, high electronegativity. Now remember, low ionization energy means you lose electrons easily. So what does this mean? This means that nonmetals tend to gain their electrons to become ions with larger atomic radii. That means they are becoming anions, electrons. They are gaining electrons, which means, for example, you might have oxygen with a negative two charge, or you might have nitrogen with a negative three charge, or a good old carbon with a negative four charge. They are gaining electrons. That means they're gonna become bigger. Metalloids. Metalloids are kind of freaky. I'm not going to lie. Metalloids are also known as semi-metals. Um, I've even heard them referred to as hemi-metals. Okay, not heavy, hemi. Now, metalloids are found between the metals and the non-metals on the periodic table. If you color-coded your periodic table, then this was that yellow staircase that you colored in. They have both metallic and non-metallic properties. And these are our general metalloids, boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, and tellurium. These are all metalloids. So if we look at our periodic table, once again, here in purple, we have our metals over here. In our yellow, we have our non-metals, and right there, flashing at you, those are our metalloids. Now, they kind of make this staircase, but not everything along the staircase is a metalloid. Notice here, yeah, not a metalloid. Sorry, hate to tell you, it's just one of those things. Okay, so when we're talking about metalloids here, we're talking about boron and then here you have a silicon underneath silicon you have germanium then beside germanium you have arsenic underneath arsenic you have antimony then beside that you have tellurium and down here you have astatine now astatine is Sometimes considered a non-metal, sometimes it is considered a metalloid, okay? Let's talk about metallic characteristic. Just remember, metals. Your most metallic metal is going to be down here at the lower left corner of the periodic table. And your least metallic thing is going to be up here, okay? Metals tend to be toward this side, non-metals tend to be toward that side. So if you are down here, you are very super metallic. You are up here, you are not metallic at all, okay? 